we landed here in uh, let's see them move it again I'm so tired and kind of dejected but it's uh, K L R O yeah it's my place yeah it's right there Uh, Cherokee 22336, thank you. 
336, roger, maybe another 10 miles from this heading, then we'll start turning you back to the left towards Georgetown. Roger, 22336. Force of November, how you doing? Boy, he's got a lot of people are in trouble like me, but they're high far. Look at this, this is bad. Uh, I got... I cannot go there. It's... Yeah, it's not good. I cannot go there. So maybe I can make this one. Mount Pleasant. LRO? Yeah, it's this guy. LRO. Okay, you want to enter direct LRO? So you do clear first. You press it for a while. Press it for a while to clear. For two seconds, it's going to clear. Okay. Please direct D. D. Where? There's a D. Okay. What and is the, num the name? Okay, the name is Kilo Lima Romeo Oscar. Okay, Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant, yes. Will I enter? Yes. I'm Rogers, Cherokee 22336. I couldn't really land at uh, Georgetown due to uh, heavy uh, storms, so I've elected to go to uh, Mount Pleasant uh, instead. Uh, could you uh, let me know the weather there, please? November 22336, Myrtle Beach approach. Roger, understand you want to go to Mount Pleasant now. Squawk 3415. 3415. November 22336, radar contact. Maintain VFR, Myrtle Beach altimeter, 29er, 9er, 9er. 29er, 9er, 9er. Thank you. Uh, Charlie, 22336. November 336, when I switch you to Charleston, very shortly they will have the weather for Mount Pleasant for you. Roger. Number 336, contact Charleston approach. Original navigation, 119er, point of tree. Uh, you broke up, could you uh, say it again? Uh, Cherokee 22336. Cherokee 336, resume on navigation. Contact Charleston approach, 119er, point tree. 119er, point three, Cherokee 22336. Thanks for your help. This one? Yeah. 119. 119. 0.3. Okay. Okay. Yeah, please. Approach Cherokee 22336 at 2000. I think it's okay to go to your Number 22336, Charleston. I'm forced to go to uh, Mount Pleasant Airport. Uh, could you uh, help me with the weather there, please? I have a weather for you. Okay, so what we need is ASOS. We landed here in, uh, oh, let's see, they move it again. <laughs> I'm so tired and kind of dejected, but it's uh, K-L-R-O, I think. Yeah, it's Mount Pleasant. Yeah, it's right there. Mount Pleasant Regional Airport. Nice little airport. Um, oh, they sure keep the air conditioning really on the cold side, so I'm actually outside. And the reason we came here, actually, I tried to, uh, I think it was Georgetown or Kilo Golf Golf Echo. There was the other airport that I uh, tried to deviate when I got into trouble with the weather. All of a sudden, like a wall of uh, clouds. I thought initially that I was doing okay <clears throat> surfing the clouds at uh, six and a half, six thousand five hundred and five thousand five hundred when we started pointing uh, flying uh, east <clears throat> and uh, I thought uh, we we're doing fine and we could go all the way to New York but no all of a sudden boom it uh, and the weather didn't look bad. I saw some storm uh, concentration of some storm but I was able to go in between them quite a few miles between uh, me and the storm it's the the eye of the storm uh, totally I mean 20 30 miles away 30 miles away so anyway so this uh, kilo golf golf echo I tried to land there <laughs> lo and behold finally I got out of the clouds lo and behold the third tooth uh, thunderstorm systems hovering over the field. I saw that. I was just about to land. I saw that from about five miles out and I quickly changed my mind because uh, I felt the turb turbulence already and I decided to go to the next airport and I asked actually ATC which they were very helpful. Thank you ATC. And um, I um, 
Ask them what's the weather in LRO, uh, Mount Pleasant Regional. And they said it's, uh, it's fine right now. And uh, they also warn you about the towers. They apparently they have near the field uh, towers that are 2,000 feet high. I was flying at 1,500 feet, and trying to stay, uh, you know, give myself a bit of uh, <coughs> distance between me and the clouds. Probably it was more than a thousand, but uh, I was just, you know, trying to find a place to land. And uh, they warned me about these towers. And I, I, I saw them on the iPad, but uh, they sure did warn me. So also we went into the uh, TFR, which is the uh, Biden is here on vacation. I guess he needs it. Anyway, um, so we um, they gave us a transponder, a squawk code, uh, and uh, we had to uh, land with that squawk co code, not to change it. Uh, we weren't allowed to change it to VFR <clears throat> once we uh, switched uh, frequency to the field CTAF. So uh, to get out. Uh, what I thought I was going to be stuck here, but uh, what it turns out that uh, I've done this once before and I forgot. But if you're not right at the airport where the president is, usually the other airports that are around that are still under the TFR, you can get a special uh, exception. What you have to do is call the um, clearance deliverance, and what they do is they give you a squawk on the ground. <clears throat> and you file a, a VFR plan and um, they uh, release you. They allow you to fly out and you put this, uh, the, the squawk in the box, in the transponder, I should say, on the box, and uh, you're, you're able to leave. So that is uh, great. That's what, I'm, uh, that's what we're going to do. Hopefully, today uh, I'm waiting for the storm to pass, but it doesn't look good right now. Look at it. That is not good. It's a squall line. Squall line? And ATC actually warned me about it. So, I'm hoping that today, uh, we're waiting for 3, 3.30. I'll fly out at 4 max. The storm hasn't passed, the squall line. I'll uh, just stay, uh, we'll stay uh, the night here. Anyway, well, see you soon. Bye.